Hi, I'm Jake, Act Duty Air Force Medic. I'm going to be teaching you how to establish a filled ruggedized IV sailing lock for casualty in five minutes or less. This is done during the tactical field care phase for a casualty with significant injuries. Hey man, if you can hear me, I'm going to start an IV on you, alright? We want to consider body substance isolation, gather, prepare, and inspect your equipment. Next, explain the procedure to the casualty and ask about known allergies, if conscious. Now, apply an IV constricting band at least two inches above the venipuncture site. Clean the site with alcohol or povidine pad or swab. Open a 18 gauge catheter and inspect it. If using blood products, supplement with a 16 gauge needle and catheter. Hold the needle and catheter at a 20 to 30 degree angle, bevel up, over the top of the chosen vein. Pierce the skin and advance the needle and catheter until the blood is visualized in the flash chamber. Now decrease the angle of the needle and catheter to 10 to 15 degrees and advance 1 8 of an inch. Advance the catheter until the hub touches the skin or until significant resistance is felt. Place a finger on your non-dominant hand over the vein at the catheter tip and tamponade the vein preventing blood from flowing out of the catheter. Remove the needle and secure it in a sharps container. Now attach the saline lock connector with your dominant hand to the catheter hub. Release the tamponade and IV constricting band. Apply a transparent film dressing covering both the catheter and the saline lock connector. Clean saline lock Insert your syringe Aspirate and flush the catheter with 5 cc's of sterile IV fluid Remove the needle and secure it in a sharps container Next, observe the site for signs of infiltration. And remember, always document all findings and treatments on a DD Form 1380 TC3 casualty card and attach it to your casualty.